sense uh, talking about the team planner and uh, how to do automatic leveling. So as I've already told you, team planner is the new view added in Project 2010 professional version. So if you're using the standard version of Project 2010, actually you will not find this view in your installation. So I'm just going to go back to my team planner. To access team planner, just go back to your uh, resource tab. You can see the team planner uh, view. So once you get the team planner view, you can find that there are four sections in this view. So the first uh, section, that is the top leftmost corner, they list the list of resources in your project and resources who are in over located will be in red color. And you can see there is another column called unscheduled task. When they say unscheduled task, uh, we discussed uh, in session three when we created the work breakdown structure that um, in project 2010 every task can be auto scheduled or manually scheduled. When you say manually schedule, it is not necessary that every task should have a start date and a finish date because it's just a, a draft schedule. So if you have assigned a activity to a resource where the start date and the finish date is not yet calculated, those activities will be listed in the unscheduled task category. If I have assigned a resource to an activity which has a start date and a finish date, and naturally those activities will be aligned with respect to a time scale. On the bottom rightmost corner, you can find uh, activities that have a start date and a finish date, but no resources assigned will be listed in this area. Whereas activities that are not yet, don't have a start date or a finish date, which has not been assigned to any resources, will be listed on the bottom leftmost corner. Now, let's find out why this resource got over -allocated. So I'm just going to move back to, I hope you guys can find that there are a few activities. I hope it's not few. All the activities are in black color. So you might ask, why is it black? Remember, um, uh, the team planner, apart from identifying which uh, tasks have over -allocated resource, it will also give you a clear picture about, about which activities have completed, which activities are late, um, which activities are manually scheduled by using different colors with respect to those bars. The reason why you see all these bars are now in black color is because these activities have not had been completed with respect to today's date. As you can see, these activities had to be completed by July, but none of these activities, as you can see, have been completed. So you can see the um, the percentage complete of all my activities is only 0%. So with respect to the team planner, those activities that have not been completed with respect to today's date will be marked in black color. So if I want to change my today's date to, uh, let's say, June 25th, I'll just go to the project ribbon, and I'll just change my status date, which is my today's date, to June Okay, I hope now you'll be able to find with respect my today's date is uh, June. Naturally, you find these activities have been marked in uh, the blue color. Now you can clearly find out that the offshore business analyst is uh, over allocated because he's working on two parallel activities. So this is a very quick and an easy way by which you can avoid over allocation. Now you will be able to find that uh, the on-site VA is available on these dates. So you can find that is not is available on those two dates. So what you can do is you can just select the activity which you want to move to the other resource. So I let me select feasibility. I can just move it. I can drop it here. So the moment you drag and drop it, it automatically gets reassigned to a, another resource. But the only catch is when you try to um, move an activity from one resource to another resource, project uh, will automatically change the constraint type of the feasibility to start no earlier than. The reason being that Team Planner was more designed for manually scheduled activities. For auto-scheduled activities, it assumes that you are trying to delegate this activity to another resource. So it tries to put constraint for these activities. So if you want to know what these constraints are, I'm just going to go back to my Gantt chart. You can find the feasibility. You can see there is an 
a constraint that has been put that this task has a start no earlier than on that date. To remove this constraint, either by using the Gantt chart or the team planner, I suggest you double click the activity name and go to the advanced tab and just change it to as soon as possible so that you don't have any constraint or static constraints on that activity. But the only drawback with respect to the team planner uh, is uh, it has very limited features. Okay, So you may not be able to split one activity and divide it across uh, and give it across multiple people. So that's not possible through a team planner. Um, the second one is um, um, you may not be able to split an activity into two pieces. So let's say I cannot say I want to split this into two pieces like uh, prepare SRS in one week and the, re uh, the remaining part of the prepare SRS should be done in the fourth week of the project. So those types of com uh, I can say complex options cannot be directly implemented through the team planner. So through the team planner as I have already told you right so you can try to drag it and drop it where you can try to reassign it. You can also reschedule that activity to the next available date or you can also move it to uh, to the next available date. For example, um, uh, let me undo the change. Uh, let's say if I just want to push this activity to a next available date, you can either push it and drop it here or you can also select that particular task which you want to move, go to the task ribbon and you can find that there is a move option available you can say move the task forward or backward. So if I say one week, it automatically moves this task to the next uh, available date. So remember when you try to move it, it also moves uh, all the resources who are working on the particular activity. Okay. So these are a few things which you might want to remember when it comes to team planner. Let's look at uh, uh, the next option by which